This is the Samsung Galaxy A34 5G disassembly. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and follow me on Twitter so you'll be notified once I upload a new video. And if you need any tools, there are links in the description. First, the SIM tray needs to be removed. Here's a better look at that. Now heat needs to be applied to the back plate to loosen up the adhesive underneath and then a pry tool can be used to pry the back plate off. Here's a better look at the plastic backplate. The glass camera lens covers can be replaced by applying heat and gently prying them off. There are 15 Phillips screws which need to be removed. There are numerous antenna lines drawn on the top plastic cover which are the light gray color lines, including the NFC antenna. Looking at the other side, we can see an area of graphite film to help transfer heat. The battery cable can now be disconnected, followed by the rest of the cables. There are two coaxial cables on the bottom right side of the board, which need to be disconnected by popping them off. Here's a better look at the 13 megapixel front facing camera. There's a single Phillips screw that's holding down the main board. Looking at the main board, there's an 8 megapixel ultra wide, a 48 megapixel main, and a 5 megapixel macro lens. The main camera is the only one with OIS or optical image stabilization. Also, the camera connectors can be disconnected by popping them off. The LED flash is located here, and there's a secondary microphone on the top corner. The SIM card and memory card reader is located on the back. There's a proximity sensor, and there's a graphite pad on the back shields to help transfer heat. Once the graphite pad has been peeled back, we can see a thermal pad which sits on top of the processor, and two other thermal pads which sit on top of these chips. This flex cable connects the main board to the subboard as well as the screen. If you need to replace the screen, you'd have to remove the back plate, the screws on the bottom plastic cover and the cover itself, disconnect the flex cable which is connecting the screen cable and subboard to the main board, and then peel off the flex cable from the frame, heat up the front of the phone where the screen is to loosen up the adhesive underneath, pry the old screen off, apply a new adhesive, and reapply the new screen, making sure you run this flex cable back to the opening in the mid frame and reassemble the phone. There are two Phillips screws holding on the subboard. Taking a closer look at the subboard, we can see the primary microphone located here and the charger port located next to it. Here's a look at the other side, and there's a gray rubber gasket around the charger port. For anyone who's worried about damaging or puncturing the microphone filter or microphone itself, by accidentally inserting the SIM ejector tool in the wrong hole, you won't need to worry since the filter and the microphone itself are seated above the hole, so there's no way they will get damaged. The same goes for the one on top.
The vibrator motor is located on the bottom corner and is held down with some adhesive. The fingerprint sensor is located here, which is also held down with some adhesive. And the same goes for the bottom speaker. There's a pull pouch provided to help you pry the battery off. Here's a better look at the 5000 milliamp hour battery. Once the battery pouch is peeled back, we have a better look at the vapor chamber which runs underneath the battery as well as the motherboard. The flex cable for the volume keys and power button is located here and is held on with some adhesive. So if you need to replace that, you have to gently just pry it off and then lift up and pull out this metal bracket from inside the frame which would release and remove the flex cable. And the earpiece speaker is located on top, which is also held down with some adhesive. For the repairability score on this phone, I give it an 8.5 out of 10. Now it's time to put the phone back together. Once everything's back in place, apply new adhesive and reapply the back plate. Flip over the phone, power it on, and you're done. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.